Well, Fairfax County Schools says they have about 150 open positions, but to put it in perspective, that's out of like 15,000 teachers overall, so only about 1%, but it's really that substitute teacher void that's becoming a problem, and that's why they're turning to college students. Now, they've updated those requirements. The principal here at Oakview Elementary said they reduced the credit hours required from 60 to 30 in the hopes of recruiting more students, and they say it's a win-win. They get that substitute teacher void filled, and these students then get hands-on experience in the classroom. Good job. Yeah, Yay. Yeah, we, did we did it. High five. High five. Awesome. And it's very rewarding working with this population of students, building the connection with them. It's, I love it. Tracy Hernandez spends most days in the classroom, but not just in the teacher seat here at Oakview Elementary. Let's try it one more time. Six. Six o'clock. She's also a junior studying special education at George Mason University. My two cousins are on the spectrum and they made me want to pursue that career and she's already started by serving as a substitute teacher for Fairfax County Public Schools. Awesome. The district started recruiting more college students to help solve their staffing shortage. Having those students be able to be in the classroom, support the needs that are arising, especially in such challenging times, and having, you know, the willingness and just kind of the wherewithal to jump in, take over, and make sure that that high quality instruction that our community expects continues. And so it's, it's working for us. Principal Sarah Brooker says they've been able to find enough subs now, but the overall fill rate for FCPS subs is 55 to 60 percent, according to a spokesperson. Compare that to 80 percent pre-pandemic. But Hernandez is eager to sign up. Make some extra cash and get experience and doing what I love to do. The FCPS hourly rate ranges from close to 18 bucks an hour to just under 24. When it all boils down to it, we're, we're all in here together to help these kids. Um, we love what we do, and we know that our substitute teachers do too because they keep coming back. There we go. Yeah, now the substitute teacher initiative might be working so far according to the principal here, but there is still some tough days. FCPS says throughout the district there are administrators that are filling in as substitute teachers and they actually have an interview day for subs that's coming up on January 18th. We will have that registration info for you online. Guys.